God has wounded us with the wound of an enemy, meaning what? Black man, it's time to wake up. Right. You have enemies. That's right. Right. And in America, the white man is enemy number one. Right. This, bro, I'm telling you, bro, you don't even know what's supposed to happen on this earth. And just like you said, that presidential election, all of that is to spark up the strife. You darn right. You know why? It's because we are uncovering the biggest secret that has ever been known to mankind. That's right. Is that, that we are the real Jews and they are the devil the Bible speaks of. That's right. Read it. Brother, preach, preach. The book of Zechariah, chapter 2, verse 6. Come on. Ho, ho, listen, ho. listen, listen up. Come listen forth up. and flee. The Bible says, hey, flee, read, from the land of the north. From the land of what? Of the north. Of what? North. North. N-O-R-T-H. Also known as what? North America. That's right. Because God said in the last days we would be where? On the west side of the world. Read it again. Ho, ho, come forth. And flee from the land of the north. Come on. Saith the Lord. Read. For I have spread you abroad. For he has done what? Spread you abroad. How did we get spread abroad? Through slavery. That's right. Read. As the four winds of the heaven. Come on. Saith the Lord. Watch this. Deliver thyself. Deliver thyself. Read. Oh Zion. Oh who? Oh Zion. Zion is Jerusalem. You Israelites. Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, God says deliver yourself. Right. You know why we ask why we in too deep? Because we look to our enemies for everything. Okay. Rather than doing what? Delivering our own self. That's right. Gathering together with our own businesses. Right. You understand? Read. Holding our own people accountable. Uh -huh. Read. That dwellest with the daughter of Babylon. We the one who dwell with the daughter of Babylon. America is the daughter of Babylon, right. that great whore which ought to be destroyed. Right. Give me Isaiah 47 and 1. Play. I'm going to show you something, man. Because I like the question you bring out, bro. That's a good question. All right, you got it? Yes, sir. Read that. The book of Isaiah, chapter 47 and verse 1. Because I told you, as we read the word of God, it exposes America for who they truly are. That's right. Read. Come down and sit in the dust. Oh, virgin daughter of Babylon. There it goes, daughter of Babylon again. Meaning what? If you sit in the dust, that means what? You are on the bottom. Because uh -huh. the dust is on the bottom. Uh -huh. But it's telling you, come and sit down. Meaning what? They wasn't always on the bottom. They were on top mm -hmm. at one point. Read it again. Come down and sit in the dust, oh, virgin daughter of Babylon. Read. Sit on the ground. Sit on the ground. There is no throne. There's no more throne, America. Because if you ask anybody in the world who's the greatest superpower on the earth, they're going to say the United States of America. Right, right. Read. Oh, daughter of the Chaldeans. Oh, daughter of the Chaldeans. That's going into Babylon. Uh -huh. Babylon. Give me that Ezra 5.12. I'll show you. Give me Ezra 5 and 12. The Chaldeans, whenever you read that in the Bible, same thing as Babylon. Now, follow me. We still deal with my man's question. Because you said, is this gonna do anything? I'm gonna show you. Watch this. The book of Ezra. I gotta show you with the Bible. Watch this. Chapter five, verse 12. Read. But after that, our fathers had provoked the God of heaven unto wrath. He gave them into the hand of Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon. Remember, the topic is Babylon, America. Read. The Chaldeans. The Chaldeans, the same people. Go back, finish that out for him. Watch this. We almost done. Back to Isaiah 47. We go in here for a reason. I'm going to show you how big of an impact that this right here is going to make. Read it. Isaiah chapter 47, verse 1. Come on. Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Read. Sit on the ground. There is no throne, O daughter of the Chaldeans. Same thing. Babylon, Chaldeans, same thing. Read. For thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. No more be called tender and delicate. Meaning what? America is called a what? Christian nation. Right. It's looked at as righteous, but it's not. Right. It's all a front. Read. Exactly. Yeah, their God is what? Uh, what's the G? Gold, oil, oil and drugs. That's their God. Read, what's it say? When they were speaking and stuff, like some stuff didn't just make sense. You talking about the white man? 
Yeah, you're right. You're right. It's all a lie. That's why. Read. Take the millstones and grind meal. It says, take the millstones and grind meal. Read. Uncover thy locks. It says, uncover thy locks, meaning what? Take off your head, rap. Read. Make bare the legs. It says, make bare the legs. So she's lifting up her skirt. Read. Uncover the thigh. Uncover the thigh. Come on. Pass over the rivers. Uh-huh. Thy nakedness. Thy what? Thy nakedness. That nakedness is going to thy shame. Right. Meaning what? Their lie is going to be uncovered. Right. Read. Right. Shall be uncovered. Read. Yay. Thy shame shall be seen. Thy shame is going to be seen by every nation. Because all nations will turn on America right. one day. And that day is very soon. Right. Read. I will take vengeance. I will not meet thee as a man. Who is that right there? Jesus the Christ. Right. That's right. That's the second coming. When those bombs come, here is his return. The second coming of Jesus Christ. Read. Verse 4. As for our Redeemer, the Lord of hosts. It says for whose Redeemer? Our Redeemer. Meaning what? He's not the Redeemer. He's not the Savior for everybody. That's right. He's only the Savior for one people, and that's the nation of Israel. That's right. Read. The Lord of hosts is his name. Now stop. Go with the Psalms 15 21. Got you. The book of Psalms, chapter 50, verse 21. Come on. These things hast thou done, and I kept silence. Meaning what? What are the, some of the things that America has done? And God kept silence, meaning what? The transatlantic slave trade, the conquest of the tribes. Right. Don't forget about what happened to our brothers and sisters uh, before we got over here. Right. They killed off 90% of the indigenous people, known as what? The Native American Indians, right. the Seminole Indians. Came up with indigenous Day. What'd you say? What'd they you just say? started Indigenous Day just this year for the state of Virginia. Right, right. which what means absolutely nothing. I mean, nothing. and we've been, and, 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 and it should have been a digital day over 300 years ago. Well, no, no. How long y'all gonna do No, we almost done with your question. We gonna be out here all day, but I want you to get this. Read what you got. Thou thoughtest that I was all together such as one as thyself. The white man thought that they had God on their side. Meaning what? They could mistreat us and nothing would happen to them. Read. But I will reprove thee. God is going to reprove America for what they did to us. Right, Read. Right, right. And set them in order. And God will set us in order. What is that talking about? He will wake us up from the dead and fill us with the Holy Ghost, meaning what? The word of God. Right. And we will begin to prophesy right. in these last days. Right. Read Joel 2, 26. Read, bro. Joel 2, 26. You don't understand what you witnessing today. It's because our people, they're not familiar with the Bible. They think a white man wrote this Bible. White man ain't write this Bible. Right, right. God orchestrated his people, which are Israelites who look just like you, right. to write this Bible. Right. Read it. Say it one more time. Huh? Say it one more time. We're going to read it. Give me the book of Psalm 16 and 11 and then Joel, no, then Amos 2 and 11. Right. The book of Psalms, chapter 68, verse 11. Hey, we got to pay attention to the Bible. Let's pay attention. Read it. The Lord gave the word. God gave the word. Read. Great was the company of those that published The white it. man did not write this Bible. That's right. The white man did not write this Bible. Give me Amos 2 and 11. I got you. you got it? Yes, sir. Read it. The book of Amos, chapter 2 and verse 11. Watch this. And I raised up of your sons for prophets. God said he raised up of your sons as prophets. Read. And of your young men for Nazarites. Read. Is it not even thus, O ye children of Israel? The children of Israel, they're the ones who wrote this Bible. That's right. Understand that thing right there. Ezekiel, David, uh, Jeremiah, all of these men are Israelite men. Mm -hmm. right. Right. So now let's go back to what I called before Joel. that. Joel 2.26, come on. The book of Joel, chapter 2, verse 26. Read. And ye shall eat in plenty and be satisfied. And praise the name. You want 27? Tw yeah, 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 go ahead. Verse 27. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. Watch this. And that I am the Lord your God and none else. God says he's our God and none else, read. Right. And my people. And whose people? My people. The Israelites are God's people, not everybody on the face of the earth. Read. Right. read. Shall never be ashamed. We will never be ashamed in that day, in our day of salvation. Read. Verse 28. And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit 
Upon all flesh. Upon whose flesh? The children of Israel's flesh. Right. That's what we're witnessing right now. He's setting us in order from city to city. Sorry, Thus sorry. saith the Lord. Read. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. That's what you're witnessing today. Read. And your old men shall dream dreams. Come on. And your young men shall see visions. Come on. And also upon the servants and upon the handmaids in that day will I pour out my spirit. Because right now we're the servants. Right now our sisters are the handmaids. Why? Because we on the bottom and our enemies is at the top. Give me uh, Jeremiah 30 and verse 12. Let me show you something. Give me Jeremiah 30 and 12. Gotcha. Read it. The book of Jeremiah chapter 30 and verse 12. Come on. For thus saith the Lord. Thy bruise is incurable. It says our bruise is incurable, meaning what? Yeah, we on the bottom, and there's nothing that we can actually physically do about it. Read. And thy wound is grievous. Our wound is very grievous. Read on. There is none to plead thy cause. Nobody pleads our cause, because guess what? Haven't we been tired of slavery? Haven't we been hoping for salvation? Bring it up. Haven't we been marching? Haven't we been going to the Christian church? Right? right? Read. That thou may be bound up. That thou that we can get up out of this situation. Read. Thou hast no healing medicines. Thou hast no healing medicines for the black man and the Hispanic man. Read. All thy lovers have forgotten thee. Says all of our lovers have forgotten us. That's going to those strange gods, mm. to those idols, right. to white man Jesus. Right. We out here praising white man Jesus, but the white man still gunning us down in the street. Uh -huh. Wait, read. They seek thee not, for I have wounded thee. You yeah, that's the issue right there. The reason why we get wounded, because our people is not seeking God. That's right. right. That's the reason. That's why we in the worst conditions in the neighborhoods, because right. we ain't doing what we supposed to do. Right. Read. For I have wounded thee with the wound of an enemy. God has wounded us with the wound of an enemy, meaning what? Black man, it's time to wake up. Right. You have enemies. That's right. right. And in America, the white man is enemy number one. That's right. right. Read it again. For I have wounded thee with the wound of an enemy. God put them over us. God put them over us because of our sins. Right. Read. With the chastisement of a cruel one. They are very cruel. Right. They don't care if you're a baby. Right. They don't care if you're an elder. Right. They'll kill you dead in the streets. Right. That's how they operate, because that's how God made them. Right. Bring it up. Read. For the multitude of thine iniquity. But the reason why is because we sinned against our God. Right. Right. Don't understand. Don't be mad at them. Be mad at yourself. Right. Clean up yourself. Bring it up. That's where it start right there. Then, if you do that, jump up to verse 10. Finish that. Uh, finish that, then jump up to 10. Because thy sins were increased. And thy sins were increased, that's it? Yes, sir. Jump up to 10. Verse 10. Therefore, fear thou not, O my servant Jacob. We are God's servants. Jacob's name was changed to Israel. From Jacob, and Israel, I'm sorry, from Israel came the 12 tribes of Israel. And that's who we are today. Right. Read it again. Therefore, fear thou not. O my servant Jacob, saith the Lord, neither be dismayed, O Israel. Read. For lo, I will save thee. God said, if we do what we're supposed to do, brother and sister, God will save us. But if we don't clean ourselves up, guess what? We're going to miss out on that salvation. Right. Give me 2nd Ezra chapter 7, verse 47. Yeah. Now think about it, bro. We're living in hell right now. We're on the bottom right now. So you mean to tell me you want to live on the bottom and then when destruction come, you want to be punished again? Mm. Mm. Hey, I ain't with that, bro. Bring I'd rather serve my sentence now right. so when Christ come back, I can reign with him in the most high. That's right. Right. Read it. it Second Esther, chapter 7, verse 47. Come on. For what profit is it for men now in this present time? So what profit in this present time right now, read, to live we living in heaviness, right? Ain't, ain't it our brothers and sisters getting murdered at a high rate? That's right. Ain't they trying to experiment with the COVID vaccine on us first? Right. Read. And after death. And after we pass away, read. To look for punishment. To look for judgment from our God? What type of sense does that make? That don't make no sense whatsoever. Why would you want to live in hell twice? If he's, for example, give me the book of Matthew 19 and 16. 
God is telling us, God sent his son, Jesus the Christ, to give us a chance at salvation. Right. The best thing for us to do is this, humble down to what God telling us to do. Right. And then do what? If we do that, he said we can live with him forever. That's right. He said when he coming back, he going to take us with him too. Read it. The book of Matthew, chapter 19, verse 16. Watch this. Up. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? Eternal life, read. And he said unto him, Eternal life is living forever. Eternal life is the kingdom of heaven. Read. Why callest thou me good? Read. There is none good but one. Come on. That is God. Watch this. But if thou wilt enter into life. If you want that salvation. Read. Keep the commandment. Do what? Keep the commandment. That's what our people don't know. Our people don't know that you're not supposed to kill each other. Right. God said thou shalt not kill. Uh, give me that Deuteronomy 22 and 5. You didn't know this either, sis. God said our women ain't supposed to wear pants. Right. Right. We don't know this. And then give me uh, Leviticus 19, 29. This is stuff our people don't know. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22, verse 5. Read. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Read. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. We ain't supposed to wear dresses. They ain't supposed to wear pants. For all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. That's an abomination unto the Lord our God. Not their God, but our God. Right. Read it. The book of Leviticus, chapter 19 and verse 29. Come on. Do not prostitute thy daughter. How do you prostitute thy daughter? By putting them in a pair of pants. By taking them, to, uh, dropping, off, dropping them off at prom, homecoming. Because you already know it's going to go down later that night. Right. Right. Boyfriends, girlfriends. You understand? That's prostitute night daughter. Mm -hmm. Read. To cause her to be a whore. To cause her to be a whore. Give me um, Deuteronomy 23 and 17. Gotcha. We, our people don't know that's in the Bible. Right. You understand? That's why we're coming out here to teach you. Right. And yes, each one teach one. It, one by one. And it's going to spread all over the earth. That's, right. Right. that's what we're trying to tell you. Because the spirit of the Lord is behind it. When it came to the nation of Islam and Malcolm X, God wasn't behind that. That's why it got shut down. But this right here, this ain't never going nowhere. Right. That's right. Understand that. Read what you got. Deuteronomy chapter 23, verse 17. Bring it out. There shall be no whore. That's going into female whores and whoremongers. Read it again. There shall be no whore of the daughters of Israel. Read. No, a sodomite. No, a what? Sodomite. Homosexuality. No sodomites because our people getting off the chain with that foolishness. That's right. right. God said no homosexuals. Bring it out. In the nation of Israel. Right. And if you agree with it, you getting put to death too. That's right. right. Read it again. There shall be no whore of the daughters of Israel. Read. No, a sodomite of the sons of Israel. No, a sodomite of the sons of Israel. So your question should be like, okay, give me second Ezra 14. What do I need to do to get myself together? Because I'm telling you, if we continue in the midst of sin, judgment is coming. Right, right. Judgment is coming. That means <clears throat> death is coming. And you're going to miss out on that gift of eternal life. You got it? Yes, sir. Read that. Second Ezra chapter 14, verse 13. Read. Now, therefore... Set thine house in order. God says to get ourselves together. We got to set our houses in order. Not how we see fit, not according to the American dream, but according to the Bible. We got to clean ourselves up by the word of God. Right. Read. And reprove thy people. And do what? Reprove thy people. Hey, my brother, you've been here for about 30, 40 minutes, right? What you learned today? What's your nationality? But actually, for real, I really was you speaking, I already think like that. I was trying to get y'all inside my How was y'all, like, thinking how I would think? How you thinking, bro? What you mean? I, well, I don't know what, you know right from wrong, you feel me? But it been, it's too much, it been too much bloodshed, bro. All that. What you doing, I understand. Yeah. To the fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what you, I, what I you do it, you feel me? I do it. You do it? Like, boy, like, it ain't just about me. It ain't, it ain't just about you. But if you really care about your people, you gotta be an example to your people. Yeah. You understand? That's why we out here to show you that there's a better way. Right. 
You understand? Just don't think that we was always like this. We had to come from something too, right? But we decided to make that, that change. Give me a James 4 and 17. We had to make that change. And the change just wasn't for me individually. It's for all my people. Yeah, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, gay people, yeah. Yeah, tell them to stop. I can't? Yeah, you can. Because God said it. I'm not going to be good. God said it, but like, well, you, you can't judge me like, boy, I love him forever. No, 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 no. That's not what God said. That's what you said. And this, so, this is the way I'm going to think forever. You feel no, 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 no. Give me that X5 and 21. 29. That's where you went wrong. We got to do what? We got to. Give me uh, Romans 12 and 2. We got to transform our thinking according to God's thinking. Right. So, so this, this is. You say like you had a gay brother. Yeah, I got gay cousins. I know them real good. You still, still talk to them? Hell no, because they ain't they ain't out of that wickedness. When I try to give them scriptures, they ain't want to hear it. Right. So guess what? So so what? So what they do here? But if they do here, I'll deal with them. All right, yeah, Until that's they what I'm get saying. out of that wickedness. Hey, come but, to the school with me. Hey, you can't be dealing with brothers like that, bro. God says that it's honorable to have one wife. Right. I'm gonna go through the scriptures with them. Yeah, go ahead. No, go. Ahead. What else you got? Well, you can't. I can't you don't know what? how they turn that. It could have been great, anything like that. Bro. Okay, what? Give me Philippians 3.19 and Acts 5 and 29. The Bible is what's going to heal us, my brother. Give me Psalms 107 and 21st. Then give me Philippians 3.13. I'm going to show you something. Yeah, give me Psalms 107 and 20, then give me Philippians 3 and 13. There's a scripture for everything in the Bible. It's up to us to humble down and receive what God's trying to tell us. Watch this. The book of Psalms, chapter 107, <clears throat> verse 20. Watch this. He sent his word. God sent his word, read. And healed them. And did what? Healed them. Give me 1 Corinthians 6, 9. God sent his word, and that's what heals us. Because guess what? what where did we grow up? We grew up here in Babylon, mm -hmm. America. And America teaches us that it's okay to be gay. God says, Otherwise, what I just called? First Corinthians 6 and 9. Read that, and then give me Psalms 106 and 35. Read the it. The book of First Corinthians, chapter 6 and verse 9. Listen close. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. So he telling you right there, if you're a homosexual, bro, you're not getting to heaven. That's a lie. It's not going to happen. Read. Be not deceived. Don't be deceived. America's doing a good job at deceiving our people. Right. Read. Neither fornicators. No fornicators. If you're a whoremonger, sleeping from woman to women, you ain't getting it either. There's no difference. Read. Nor idolaters. Idolaters, those who have an obsession with white man Jesus. Right. Read. Nor adulterers. Nobody sleeping with married people's wives and husbands. Read. Nor effeminate. No effeminate. Those who act like they're gay, but haven't laid with a man. They not getting in either. Read. Nor abusers of themselves with mankind. A man laying with another man. They not going to get in either. Read. Nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners. Come on. Shall inherit the kingdom of God. It ain't just the gays. No. All of these wicked people, they not going to get it. Right. Meaning what? If they can't turn away from their sins, they are not going to make it to the kingdom. Right. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling, these are how we're men repented at heart, the scriptures is proof, IUIC, we deliver the truth.